Did you know that lions have never roamed the forests of Cambodia? Yet many believe otherwise. This fascinating misconception might stem from the grand lion statues and intricate carvings that adorn the ancient temples and ruins scattered across this historic landscape. These majestic symbols are woven deeply into the tapestry of Khmer architecture, standing as silent guardians that project strength and protection. However, the truth remains that these artistic depictions are just that, artistic. They are not historical records of wildlife native to the region. In reality, the lion has never padded through the dense undergrowth or lounged under the sprawling branches of Cambodia's forests. These powerful creatures have always been strangers to these lands. The presence of lion imagery in Khmer culture highlights a deep human fascination with this animal, symbolizing sovereignty and valor across various cultures, a testament to the lion's universal appeal as the king of beasts. So, if not Cambodia, where do these majestic creatures actually live? Let's find out. Lions are synonymous with wild Africa, but their range extends beyond this continent. The majestic lion, often hailed as the king of the jungle, primarily roams the vast landscapes of sub-Saharan Africa. This region, known for its sprawling savannas and rich biodiversity, serves as the perfect backdrop for the lion's regal demeanor and lifestyle. In the heart of sub-Saharan Africa, lions are found in a variety of habitats. These include the open grasslands, where their tawny coats blend seamlessly with the dry, golden terrain. They also thrive in savannas, dotted with acacia trees, providing both shade and vantage points. Woodlands and dense bush areas offer them ample cover for stalking their prey, which ranges from zebras and wildebeest to smaller antelopes. The presence of water sources is a crucial factor in these habitats. Lions require water for drinking, and water bodies attract a plethora of prey species during the dry seasons. This strategic advantage allows lions to conserve energy by waiting for their next meal to come to them. But the narrative of the lion does not end in Africa. A lesser known chapter of their tale is written in the forests of India. The Asiatic lion, a subspecies of the African lion, resides in the Gir forest of Gujarat. This population, though once on the brink of extinction, now thrives under strict conservation efforts. The landscape here is markedly different from the African savannas. The Gear Forest is a mix of dry scrubland and deciduous forest, offering a unique sanctuary for these Asiatic lions. Their survival in such a distinct environment underscores the adaptability and resilience of lions as a species. These diverse habitats, from the African plains to the Indian forests, highlight the ecological versatility of lions. They are not just creatures of the open grassland, but are adaptable to a variety of ecosystems where they can dominate as apex predators. These vast landscapes support the king of the beasts, far from the jungles of Cambodia. In Africa, lions rule the savannas, but their reign is not without challenges. Imagine the vast golden plains of Africa, where the air vibrates with the distant calls of wild beasts. Here, the lion, with its imposing mane and regal demeanor, stands as the undisputed king. Yet, the life of an African lion is far from the leisurely pace one might imagine. It is a life dictated by the necessities of survival, the dynamics of their social structures, and the unyielding demands of their habitat. Lions are inherently social creatures, the only cats that live in groups known as prides. A typical pride consists of about 15 members, though some may grow to over 30. The pride is a tightly knit family unit with females generally related to one another, and it's these lionesses that form the backbone of the group. They are the primary hunters, working in coordinated packs to outmaneuver and overpower their prey, which ranges from antelopes to zebras. The male lions, with their iconic manes, play a different role. Their main job is to protect the pride's territory from intruders. A male's roar, which can be heard up to five miles away, serves both as a warning to potential rivals and as a beacon to stray members of the pride. However, life in the savannah is fraught with challenges. Habitat loss due to expanding human settlements and agriculture reduces the space lions have to roam, hunt and thrive. Human-wildlife conflict arises from lions preying on livestock, leading to retaliatory killings by farmers. Moreover, illegal poaching for lion body parts, used in traditional medicines and as trophies, continues to threaten their population. Conservation efforts are crucial. 
They involve protecting habitats, fostering human-lion coexistence, and enforcing laws against poaching. These efforts are vital to ensure that future generations may also witness the majesty of the lions in their natural surroundings. Despite these challenges, African lions continue to symbolize strength and resilience across the continent. A small but vital population of lions exists in Asia, far from their African relatives. Nestled in the Gir Forest of Gujarat, India, the Asiatic lion, also known as the Indian lion, roams with a regal presence that is both rare and riveting. This subspecies of lion is unique, separated by geography and genetics from the more commonly known African lions. Historically, the Asiatic lion's range was vast, stretching across the Middle East, covering much of Southwest Asia and extending into the Indian subcontinent. However, due to relentless hunting and habitat destruction, their territory dwindled dramatically. By the early 20th century, these majestic creatures were nearly wiped out, with fewer than 50 individuals remaining. The turnaround for the Asiatic lion began with the establishment of the Gear National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary in the early 1960s. This marked a pivotal moment in conservation efforts dedicated specifically to this subspecies. The sanctuary, sprawling over 1,400 square kilometers, became a bastion for the Asiatic lion, providing a safe haven from human encroachment and the threats that come with it. Conservation efforts have not only focused on protecting habitat, but also on mitigating human-wildlife conflict. Innovative strategies such as compensation for livestock losses, relocation of villages and education campaigns about conservation have been integral. Thanks to these concerted efforts, the Asiatic lion population has seen a remarkable recovery. From those precarious numbers of less than 50 today, the population numbers over 500. The Asiatic lion differs from its African cousin in several notable ways. It is slightly smaller and sports a less developed mane. Their prides are also smaller, often consisting of about three to four females compared to the larger prides of the African savannas. From brink of extinction to a conservation success story, the Asiatic lion's journey is inspiring. Their continued survival is a testament to what dedicated conservation efforts can achieve, ensuring that these majestic creatures continue to roam the forests of gear, a beacon of hope for endangered species worldwide. Understanding where lions truly belong helps us appreciate and protect these majestic creatures. The survival of lions, the iconic symbols of strength and courage, heavily depends on the preservation of their natural habitats. These habitats are not just spaces for them to live. They are complex ecosystems that support the lions and a myriad of other species. In Africa, the expansive savannas provide a backdrop where lions roam freely, playing their part as apex predators. Here, the balance of the ecosystem hinges on their presence. Lions help maintain healthy populations of herbivores, which in turn influences the vegetation patterns. This dynamic balance ensures the survival of countless other species, from the tiniest insects to the towering giraffes. Similarly, in the forests of India, the last of the Asiatic lions find refuge. Their presence is a testament to successful conservation efforts that have brought them back from the brink of extinction. The Gear Forest, a biodiversity hotspot, thrives partly because these lions patrol its lands, controlling herbivore populations and thus fostering a diverse plant life. The conservation efforts in these regions are monumental. They include anti-poaching laws, habitat restoration projects and the creation of protected areas. These initiatives not only safeguard the lions, but also improve the quality of the environment. For example, maintaining clear and clean water sources in these habitats benefits all forms of life, including local human communities who depend on these ecosystems for their own survival. Supporting these conservation efforts is crucial. Whether it's through donations, spreading awareness, or engaging in community-led initiatives, every action contributes to a larger global effort to preserve these magnificent animals and their homes. The ripple effect of such actions extends far beyond the immediate vicinity, influencing conservation strategies worldwide and helping combat climate change. Every effort counts in ensuring that future generations will also be able to witness the majesty of the lion. It's fascinating how myths can paint our perceptions, but reality brings us closer to truth and understanding. As we journeyed through the narrative of lions and their habitats, 
it became clear that the majestic lion, often crowned as the king of the jungle, has never roamed the forests or plains of Cambodia. This fact isn't just a trivial piece of trivia, it's a cornerstone for understanding the ecological tapestry of our world. Lions thrive in the expansive savannas of Africa and the reserved forests in a small region of India. These are the lands where their roars echo and their presence contributes to the balance of these ecosystems. Recognising their actual habitats is crucial, not just for the accuracy of our knowledge, but for the effectiveness of conservation efforts. Accurate information empowers conservationists to focus their resources effectively, ensuring that these magnificent creatures continue to thrive in environments suited to their needs. Remember, lions have never called Cambodia home, but they continue to reign proudly in their true habitats across Africa and a small corner of India.